Jim, I think the biggest story of the night, Pitbull Cruz stopping Roly Romero via TKO. What are your impressions about how Pitbull Cruz looked uh, tonight here in Vegas? Exactly the way fans want him to look. I mean, that was a resolute go forward, I'm going to destroy you performance. Uh, it was done with arrogance and uh, seeming malice. He's vicious the way he attacks the opponent. He lands big shots. Uh, he goes in the only direction that Mexican fans want to see him go in. Uh, potentially a tremendous audience attraction. When you see how he fought today, how does he look to you at 140 versus the other 140 champions? Well, he looks like the one who is most a destroyer. He looks like the one who is most willing to throw big swinging, wide arcing punches to try to land something big. Um, you know, that might walk him right into getting totally outboxed by some of the people in the division who have more craft and use more craft. Or he just might intimidate everybody and blow them out. You know, when, when Mike Tyson was knocking out a lot of other heavyweights early on, it didn't look to a lot of people as though it really mattered whether his craft was ultimately sophisticated and grown. Then when he started fighting guys who did have boxing skill and were larger than him, it was a different story. So, you know, Cruz doesn't face the prospect of fighting anybody who's larger than him, but he might fight a taller, more elegant athlete with more foot movement and more sophisticated skills, and that would be a, a challenge. How did Roley look to you, and why did he have the trouble that he did here tonight? He looked intimidated. He, he looked as though he was uh, taken back by the, the level of violent aggression that Pitbull brings to the ring. So, you know, he tried to make the best of it up to a point, but when you're, when you're pulling back your upper body while trying to deliver punches, those punches don't have any force on them. And when you are intimidated out of going forward to try to uh, assert your power, then you're not gonna get anywhere. And so he just, you know, as the rounds went on, he wasn't in the fight. Yeah, I know, he never really was. I was concerned a little bit about the weight. You know, Rolly's a big guy, but like you mentioned, Pitbull navigated that weight, like, and it didn't really That doesn't him. matter to Pitbull. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, get that mentality, that style, he would fight a heavyweight. Uh, and still think that he was going to be the one. Who does people remind you the most throughout history, in your opinion? Well, you'd have to go back to uh, some of the 40s and 50s fighters who came straight forward with reckless abandon. You know, uh, uh, Carmen Basilio and uh, Gene Fulmer and people like that who uh, didn't really much care for bothering with the niceties of defense and were willing to bleed and just wanted to land big shots and get people out of Rocky Graziano comes to mind. So it, he's a throwback is, is what he is to an earlier day when fewer fighters had really sophisticated and refined skills and a lot of it was about being a man. It's Ryan, a macho style of fighting. Ryan Garcia, Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, it's packed with a lot of opponents for Pippo Cruz. Do you favor him against some of those, or if not all of them? None. You don't and favor him against No, him? I don't favor him oh! against I don't, oh, Every single person you mentioned is a sophisticated boxer. Yeah. Okay? Give me the list again. Ryan Garcia. Devin oh, Hayden. oh, I favor him against Ryan Garcia. I'm you think sorry. he beat Ryan I, Garcia? I think he would beat, I think he would scare Ryan Garcia just the same way he scared Roly Romero. Oh, okay. Teofimo Lopez. Hard choice. I know uh, Teofimo's got a lot of skill. Uh, and uh, and Teofimo has beaten top guys, so hard choice. Devin Haney. Too good a boxer. No, no way, <laughs> no way in my view. I could be wrong, but no way in my view that Pitbull bothers Devin Haney. Shakur Stevenson. Same thing. And finally, a lot of people want the rematch with Javante Davis. Does it go any different in your opinion? Uh, well, they both gotten a little bit different. No, I don't. I don't have a, an opinion one way or another about Javante Davis versus Pitbull. I want to see the fight. All right, that is Jim Lampley. Jim, thank you. Appreciate it. All righty. Thank you.